Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome to Chat Omics. Today, I'm going to show you how to extract tables from PDF file using an R package called Tabulizer. So I have the GitHub link here for the package. So don't worry, I will have the R Markdown file uh, link in the description of this video. So first, we need to install this package. So if you want to install this package from CRAN, you use the function called install.package and the, li uh, the library name. But it turns out uh, this uh, tabulizer is not available for this version of R. So I'm, I'm using R 4.2.3 here. So then I have to install it from uh, GitHub. So to install package from uh, uh, GitHub, you need to install a different package called remotes. So this line of code will install remotes if it's not installed already. So it's already installed, so you will actually uh, load this remotes uh, package. And then we can use remotes uh, double column install GitHub and those two uh, packages that we need to install. The tabulizer uh, package and the Java uh, package. So let's run it. Okay, now we, after you install it, you can load it by library tabulizer. And the PDF file that we are going to uh, extract tables from uh, is this one that I already actually downloaded. So if I click here, so it's a uh, paper, like a single cell RNA sequencing paper uh, in ovarian cancer. And then in page three here, there's a table which actually contains all the metadata information for all the samples. So I want to extract this uh, table out from this uh, PDF file. So it's actually really simple. So uh, use the single function called extract underscore tables and the path of this PDF file. So you can have any PDF file that you want to extract the tables from. And the page is the third page. Okay, you can also specify multiple pages and specify the output as a data frame. So let's run it. Okay. Takes a couple of seconds, okay, it's down. So you will see out actually is a list of one, so it's a list. So if you do uh, out a double bracket one, so you can extract the first element of that list and you will see it's a data frame. So now it's ready for you to use uh, in R. You can also use like view out double bracket. And run. And you can actually uh, explore this data frame within R Studio. Okay, that's pretty neat. That's it for today, and I hope you like it, and see you next time.